Minds, tonight I'm going to be discussing my top five MAC makeup essentials. Are you interested in learning a little bit more about MAC makeup products? Do you want to see um, some top makeup artist tips and suggestions and why these particular products are my go-tos? Do you also want to hear some suggestions on how you can work these pieces into your daily makeup routine? If so, then please keep watching. a MAC makeup user since 2007. I'll never forget my first MAC makeover. If you are a MAC makeup user, if you love MAC, please leave in the comments section when your first MAC makeover was and how you felt and what that experience did for you. I love hearing from you all and I can't wait to read some of those comments. When I received my first MAC makeover over 11 years ago, well, it was about 11 years ago, I just remember sitting in front of the mirror looking at this gorgeous babe and saying to myself, I hope I can look as glamorous as that when she is done. And when she was done, she presented me with a handful of products and explained to me, this is what you use to create the look I gave you. And I was done. I was hooked hooked for life. And so as I've evolved as a makeup artist and now I'm a licensed esthetician, MAC is definitely a major staple in my makeup kit, but also in my makeup wardrobe. I think that the products are really versatile and I kind of want to use this video in particular to debunk that MAC is only stage makeup or only for heavy cakey looks because it's not true. So the first product that I'm going to talk about is the MAC Mineralized Pressed Powder. All of the products that I am mentioning tonight, I personally have on my face right now. Um, and I thought it was really important for you um, watching at home to see not only is the products that I'm suggesting and, and why they're my top five, but also for you to see how they look on my skin. And I know that you may have a different skin tone as mine, you might even have a different skin type, but it just gives you a little bit of an idea um, of what how these products translate, especially on camera. So the MAC Mineralized Pressed Powder, there's actually two versions. There's a loose powder, I have that as well, and then there's the pressed powder. I love the pressed and it's why it is my number one top five product. I purchased this probably the first one, the first time I ever purchased this was like 2009 I think and it's just a pressed powder now this is well loved you guys all these products that I am showing you right now are well loved products so they are going to be <laughs> very used this is the color light this is the shade that I am they have several colors that you can choose from the next one up from this is light plus and then there's medium I'm also going to show you medium deep this color was recommended to me last year um, from the Mac on Broughton Street down in Savannah Georgia so if you're watching this and you're local to Savannah go and check them out and show that counter some love because those are some phenomenal makeup artists and Rogan just recommended that I use this as a bronzer um, just a light bronzer to give my skin a glow uh, during the spring and summer months so you can use this product for contouring you can use it for highlighting um, and you can use it to set your makeup for instance I am using it right now to set my makeup forever foundation however you can also use this as foundation it will give you medium coverage and it has a satin to luminous finish it's not matte it's not highly luminous but it does have um, some satin qualities to it so it is a little bit light reflective when I use it to set my foundation I always use a powder puff it's just a nice flat um, makeup sponge and I pack that into my skin. I'll put a video up here of my retro glam makeup look um, that you can kind of see how I'm using it in that video if you want to check it out. The other way that I apply this is just with a big like domed 
powder brush and I give myself a dusting and it like I said it will knock back redness and slight blemishes but it's not going to give you that full coverage which means if you have a lot of breakouts on your skin or if you have major broken capillaries it's probably not going to cover that also if you're extremely oily you may find that this makeup moves and shifts throughout the day I find that this particular product is great for anybody that has dry to normal combo skin I'm not saying that if you're oily you can't use it because indeed you can it just means that you might see a little bit of breakthrough or it might look a little bit more luminous or shiny and if that's something you're trying to steer away from you might just want to you know check it out maybe try it and then if it works commit to it if you have any questions make sure you put them in the comment section the next product I'm gonna show you is another powder this is the very first product that I bought from Mac <laughs> oh it held so many memories for me this is the MAC Studio Fix Powder. I have hit pan in this particular one. Um, this is the NW18 shade. Every single person on the planet can use this product. Like, I'm not even going to play. Because of the way the pigments are put together and the ingredients that are in the formulation, it really lays down nicely on any skin type. I've used this on my 60 years young mom. I've used it on a 16 year old. I've used it on really oily skin. I've used it on dry skin that's been well prepped and it just looks gorgeous. It does give medium to full coverage. So it's going to cover capillaries. It's going to cover redness. It's going to cover breakouts and you can pack this in. So it's not a product where you can just use a sponge. You can use it with multiple different style brushes. That's what I do. I've got a few here. I'm just going to show you. This is the MAC 188. Don't mind it. It is dirty. I need to clean my brushes, y'all. I need to clean my brushes. Um, and then this is the 180. This one's really great about putting it on quickly and then you can press it into your skin and it will build coverage. This is going to give you more of like a fluidity. So for me, and I'm recovering from nasal surgery, I used it on my nose and it gave me that coverage. Also, if you have areas on your face, maybe you have broken capillaries, for instance, I have one in my nose, I will use a brush like this to kind of work up in there because a brush like this y'all ain't gonna work so this product really is um, kind of like a one-stop shop and it's going to control oil so if you have oily skin it will help to control it if you have dry skin like extremely dry flaky skin I do recommend prepping your skin make sure you're gonna wear a moisturizer put a primer on maybe even use the max strobe strobe uh, cream in those areas where you are flaking. And that's one thing I want to touch base on real quick is that some people think that these products are really cakey and yes you can create a very stagey um, cakey look and there is a time and a place for that. However if you just want to use these every day you know on the street you just have to use a lighter hand and you will find because they're so pigmented that your products will last longer um, because you're using less of it and you don't have to continually go back in and touch up because they wear well throughout the entire day so if I put this if I put these powders on in the morning and I'm going out at night I might touch up but for the most part I'll put them on and then go about my day and I'm good to go the third product that I am going to show you all is the Mac fix plus spray oh my god y'all oh my god this particular product I use it all the time like I use it to refresh my makeup I use it to set my makeup I was even told that you can use it before makeup to kind of give your skin like a little you know punch of vitality um, or vitality and it creates just this beautiful sheen on the skin and it knocks back really powdery area so if you've over powdered your face and you use the fix plus and you spray it and it is it's just like a spray and you're gonna spray that all around about a foot away from your face. I did spray before I started filming tonight. Oh, it smells so delicious. And it's a light, fresh scent. So if you've never used it before, it's not perfumey at all. It's just a light, fresh scent. It's It's got a very unique scent and I can smell it from a mile away. If somebody is using Fix Plus Spray, I'm like the coyote in those cartoons where I'll follow the trail and figure out who it is that's using it because I love it that much. Um, but. It just has a way of evening out the skin in the sense that if 
one side of your face is a little bit heavier and powder than the other, this is gonna help balance it once you spray it onto your skin. It's also going to make you come kind of back to life. If you've over powdered or if you're over matte, it's going to kind of bring your skin back into like a natural looking balance. However, if you're oily, it's not going to make you look greasy um, or sweaty. It really works for a multitude of skin types and that's why I love it so much because I can pretty much just spray that on any client that I have and it's going to make their skin look photo ready and natural like as natural as it can look if you're wearing makeup I have used other sprays in the past but I always come back to this one nothing has really held a candle to this particular product I will say that if you are extremely extremely oily Maybe try the travel size before you commit to the large one or go into the counter, talk to somebody at the matte counter, let them spray it on your skin and see how it helps your makeup hold up or see how your oil um, interacts with it. It sets your makeup, um, it brings it back into balance, it refreshes the skin and it just creates like a natural um, finish on the skin so that the makeup you're wearing just looks more Oh my gosh, polished and photo ready and just smooth. My fourth product is eyeshadows. Y'all, I got a lot of MAC eyeshadows. I'm just going to show you the palette that I created. This is a palette. This is a 15 palette, uh, 15 pan palette that I created. And I have repurchased them time and time again. I also have a four quad and a two quad. So I really like to make my own palettes with MAC because it suits my needs. When I'm giving a makeover, I know what I need in my kit. So it's really nice to just be able to grab one of these little palettes and pop in a single eyeshadow. However, if you're not a makeup artist or if you don't have access to creating or making your own palette, you can buy the single eyeshadows. Um, for instance, this is the Dazzle. This is the Dazzle Shadow, and this is called Last Dance, and they released it um, about a month or two ago. Um, one of their basic matte single eyeshadows, this is Scene. Obviously, I love it because I've hit the pan in it, and it's just a beautiful, true bluish gray. It's matte, and that's the one thing I love about MAC eyeshadows is they are true to what they say they are. So if it says that it's a matte, it's a true matte. If it's a luminous, true luminous, so on and so forth. Whereas I've been through other eyeshadows with other companies and they'll say it's matte and I'm like, Ooh, this looks like a satin or it's a luminous and it's really a sparkle and it's got major fallout and that drives me crazy. So although I do use other brands, like I have some naked palettes and some, you know, I've got an Anastasia palette. Mac is pretty much the one thing you're going to see in this drawer. Like if you're in my beauty room and you pull out my eyeshadow drawer, is Macalicious, okay? I just got a lot of Mac in there and I just, I can't help it. I always come back to it. So if you guys would like to know like the breakdown of all the shadows that are in this palette in particular and you wanna know what I'm using on myself and in my kit, um, please let me know in the comment section as I said before, don't be shy. I read the comments. I love reading your comments. And I can either put together a video where I just talk about these shadows and why I use them and why I recommend them. Um, or I can just write out a list and maybe post it to one of my social media, such as Instagram or Facebook. So let me know if you're interested in that. My fifth and final product, there's there's others I could show you guys, like others, so many. Like I love their blushes. I use their blushes all the time. But my fifth one, my fifth, 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 fifth top five. MAC product is their lipsticks. Hands down, MAC, you can flood my house with your lipsticks and I will never grow weary of you or get bored. I have a lot of MAC lipsticks. Um, obviously, I, I love red. This is Ruby Woo. Um, it's a retro matte shade and it's gorgeous and I love it. And it's what I have on my mouth. So, why I like the MAC lipsticks is they're affordable. Compared to other prestige makeup brands, MAC is still the most affordable prestige lipstick that you can buy. On top of it, they have so many different shades and so many different finishes. You can't go wrong. If you've never tried a MAC lipstick, I highly encourage you to just go to a counter and try one on. They glide on. Most of the formulas glide on really easily and they are always packed with pigment, always. So you're gonna get a product that it's almost like one and done. Like I've given myself a couple layers here tonight, but 
it's pretty much one and done. Uh, you can use a brush to apply it. You can use it to outline your lips. You can just cover your entire lip with a highly saturated pigment. They've got nudes and pinks and reds and purples. They've even got blues. They've got so many different lipsticks. I'm just like, I don't, I don't, I'm like, I have other lipsticks, but I really use them. Like MAC is always hardcore, my ride or die. I like that they have matte finishes, satin finishes, cream sheens, luminouses. I love that when you look at a color, okay, and you want pink, but it's a luminous and it's really moisturizing. You're like, oh my gosh, this isn't going to last on my lips for whatever reason. You can pretty much find the same color in a matte formulation. So I love that MAC has kind of done that to meet the needs of everybody. Um, it's very inclusive that way. So I think that the lipsticks work for anyone regardless of your lip shape or your lip age. Their colors do not bleed. It's impressive. You can find anything that you want. There's all the shades of the rainbow sitting at the matte counter just within their lipsticks. So um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this top five MAC Essentials makeup video. I had a lot of fun sitting down and writing out, you know, what I wanted to showcase and what I wanted to talk about. I love that this was a requested video. This entire month, I've just decided to do nothing but put requested videos um, together for you guys who are in my community and you're asking for me to do them. It's just my way of appreciating you and listening to you. So if you have a request, if you've something's piqued your interest, please leave it in the comment section. I always add it to my film list and I take it to heart. And if I can do it, I put it together for y'all. If you love this video, if you found it helpful or inspiring, or if it's like encouraging you to go out and do some Mac shopping, then please leave it a thumbs up, share it across your social media platforms. I would love for you guys to become part of the Beauty and the Grinds community. So please subscribe and hit the bell notifier so you always know when I post something new. All of the products that I'm mentioning right now will be on my blog, beautyandthegrinds.com. I keep everything streamlined here on YouTube. So if you want to see these products and you want to have some links to where you can go and get them, they will be up there on my blog. Thank you guys so much for joining me and choosing to spend your time with me and my community and my channel. That time is precious and I really honor it. If you want to keep up with me on the daily, see looks that I'm creating or just what I'm doing, I will have all my social media handles in the description box below um, with some video recommendations if this is your first video that you are watching from this channel. I post new videos every Monday, so I hope that you will tune in next week. Have a great rest of your day.